Hey besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. The glare on my glasses is very strong, but I wanted to make sure that I was focused and I think we are, so we are good. I have not done a wax melt and candle empties in a while. It's been about like four or five months, but I am back and I am determined to try to encourage myself to use up more wax melts and candles. And I remember last year saying about how we were going to move out of this house and we never ended up doing it, but I have a lot of wax melts in like the six cube organizer shelf. It looks like this one right here, but it's like upright and there's so much wax melts in there. I haven't warmed in a couple of months and I was just not feeling warming candles and stuff. And plus I've heard that if you warm candles, you, you get like specific scent memories and I didn't want to like distinguish a specific scent to like my dark days, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I haven't really been warming, but I did have a couple of empties nice i think that's good uh to be honest with you guys there are two here that i don't know if i remember mentioning but if i did correct me if i'm wrong but i had to remelt them through like my candle crock so i could get all the full scent out but we're gonna start with wax melts specifically the wax melts that i buy are from walmart from the brands better homes and gardens and sensationals and I like those a lot. They're really easy to find and they have some like new fragrances out too And they have had some like from the fall and from the spring and I haven't purchased any yet because I have way too much I think from now on my goal is to just buy wax melts that I really enjoy because if you're an OG here and you remember my Wax melt videos. That's where I started and I did like reviews. They didn't get many views though because wax melts weren't really common then but I think they're starting to gain traction and becoming popular which is really good for the wax melt community here let's start with the empties okay so i'm just gonna grab and go first thing that i finished up was this better homes and gardens white peach and mango this smells like peach bellini but a little bit more mango-y to me in wax melt form this smells so good if you love bath and body works peach bellini you need to get this in the wax melt form i think they raised the price point to 222 or 225 now which kind of sucks inflation right next up we have smoked caramel fireside and i have been warming this around the house the past couple of days and let me tell you guys i'm only warming this because i want to get rid of it because i do not like it it smells like we had smoked barbecue wafted inside the house and even though i love caramel i love like a fiery note at times this is way too like authentically smoky and i don't know what it is but every time i smell wax melts they smell more specific than like candles Next up, I finished, and these have been sitting here for a couple months, so I don't know if I have finished these in the last month or last week, so I'll let you guys know. I finished up Farm Apple Pumpkin. This was probably during like September, October. I love fall, and I still have my Project Use It Up Wax Melt thing. Like I have like 25 left over. This one has like this nice cinnamony, but not way too cinnamony fragrance. I don't even think I ever mentioned that before, but I smell more cinnamon and it has like this nice apple-y note, which is really scrumptious. That's a good one. The next one I have here is one of my staples for the kitchen, for any place that you want the house to smell mockingly fresh. This is Lavender Lemonade from Better Homes and Gardens. Let me tell you guys, this is probably one of the most underrated wax melts fragrances because now that wax melts are getting traction, I still don't see a lot of people putting their attention to this one. This one has like a nice light lemony fragrance. It's not like an artificial, strong, heavy lemon. And the lavender is like a sugary lavender. I love that. It's so good. All right, next up. <laughs> we have pumpkin apple muffins. This one's a really nice one for the fall time. I could honestly see myself warming it up right now because it is like rainy. There are crows crowing, a little bit creepy here and there, but this is perfect magnificent a really nice go-to bakery fragrance the next one i finished up this was a long time ago this is the dia de muertos wax melt day of the dead yes i could have just said that in english but I, I wanted to try out my spanish i took spanish in high school for like two years i was pretty good but this one's like a nice musky fragrance really good really really strong and a little raunchy but like in a classy way we have banana pumpkin bread this one was one of my go-to's as well they always have this during the fall when i got into wax melts this one has like this nice imitation bread 
but more banana okay so if you like banana fragrances this is probably your thing it is unfortunate though because better homes and gardens has changed their packaging so all of them look the same so you really have to squint if you have bad vision like me you have to squint and really see like the little mini title i'll have to do like a shop with me or something with wax malts and like put it in there so continuing on we have nine more left yes the this one right here is pumpkin cider this is also my go-to whenever I want something sparkling a little bit bubbly I do like sparkling fruity fragrances in wax melts not so much in body care but this one has like this true like hard cider no not alcoholic but it's like a little pungent it's really good I really like that here is Pisces and this one's really old I don't know if they still have this one who I need to I need to keep up but Pisces has like this nice golden baked crust in it a little bit of like the spices you got your tiny bit of nutmeg but cinnamon but not too obnoxiously spicy okay this one's so beautiful so heavenly oh amazing we have fall into autumn this one is also one of my favorites i heard this is like a dupe to sweater weather but i never really tried sweater weather and home fragrance it's really nice though it smells like outside it's a little bit dark but a little bit light at the same time it's really nice we have another smoked caramel fireside. I didn't really like this one, like I mentioned. Oh, this one right here, I just put one in, my last cube in downstairs. This is feeling cozy. I remember using this when I was being a couch potato. This one has warm woods and crisp apple. See, with the Sensationals packaging though, they still kept it, so you can really see it. It's an all in bold, right? But this one, yeah, warm woods and crisp apple. I like this one. It's nice, it's light. It's giving me light going inside Abercrombie vibes, but not that heavy musky fragrance. The Warm Woods is beautiful. It's not too strong, but it does pack a little punch. And the apple just makes it sweet. Okay, it's so good. Definitely recommend. So nice for like the bedroom, especially during the cold months. Another fragrance that I do not like alongside Smoked Caramel Fireside and the one that I have been trying to get rid of is Pumpkin Honey Butter from Better Homes and Gardens. This one's so old. All these are honestly old. Wow, this one, yeah, it has like a smoky fragrance. You would think it's like, oh, super sweet, sugary, honey, pumpkin. No, it has like a smoked caramel fireside. Think of like sweet whiskey and bonfire bash had a baby, but without the vanilla note. It smells like pure woods. Really, really stenchy. The next one we have is another pumpkin apple muffins. Amazing. This one right here, I watched a previous video. I had to like regain like what I said in my last wax melt video, but this is caramel apple spice. I mentioned that I really enjoy it and I really do enjoy it. It's like a nice pure caramel, but not too astringent caramel. You know how sometimes it could be too cloying and the apple is beautiful and melts in beautifully, so good. And the last wax melt that I finished is another duplicate of fall into autumn. I love putting fall into autumn in the bathrooms during the fall time. It smells so magical and like a true fall day in your bathroom next up is candles we got two of these right here i think i mentioned that i finished these i think i did but i never showed them so i didn't have proof but i did melt these as well in my candle crock so these are all gone these need to go be recycled this one is somebody loves you i really like this one it's strawberry pound cake strawberry pound cake in the candle is really good and it's definitely really strong in the one wick so if you have been wanting to try strawberry pound cake in the home fragrance but you don't really want to get the three wick and that's like too much what's it called commitment get it in the one wick it's really really strong and then i also finished up crushed candy cane this one was really good and i melted it as well so you can see like the wick is like Wow, it's berserk, but this was amazing as well. Really nice, really strong. I love candy cane minty fragrances, especially during the winter time. So it was beautiful. It was perfect. The next one I finished up, oh, please don't hate me if I already showed you this, but this is salted pretzel milkshake. I have not yet worn this in the candle crock yet, but I will. Oh, and I'm going to, it's very dusty. Yeah, these are really old. They're very old. And I think I just put the cap on them recently. So there's, there's that, but this one has the notes of creamy vanilla ice cream, salty pretzel bits, gooey chocolate drizzle with natural essential oils. And here's the thing. I know so many people love this fragrance. It's really good, but it's very cloying. It's really strong, almost to the point where you need to turn it off because it's almost a little bit way too sweet. And I got that sometimes. This candle lasted very long as well because of how strong 
it was. But I, I really enjoyed it though. I'm going to warm it up in the kennel crock again to get the last bit. And another one that I actually have already warmed all the way up. This is Wicked Apple, really good. Did I mention that I already finished this? I don't remember, but it's still in my house. But I melted this all the way down. I really enjoy it. Yeah, it, there's no more scent because it's gone. The notes to this is ghostly green apple, creepy caramel drizzle, and vicious vanilla bean. I feel like a lot of people didn't really like this fragrance, but I know a lot of people talked about liking it too. But I did see a lot of these during semi annual sale. So let me know if you liked Wicked Apple. I liked it a lot. It's like a nice ooey gooey caramel. So amazing. And then the last candle that I just finished up, this one is Pumpkin Donut Shop. This one is so good. It's not too coying. The notes to this are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, sprinkled with powdered sugar with natural essential oils. This is so good, so iconic. I definitely, definitely recommend. I know they bring this out every year too, so. Oh, it's so good. I wish you guys could smell it. It has like a true donut bready fragrance, which I really like. This one's good. Yay, I'm so happy. And this is all empty. Let's throw that back there. I'm going to warm this up in the kennel crock. I gotta remind myself, so I'm gonna put it right over here. You know, some of these are so ancient, there's like dust everywhere. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit around like my wax melt area and I'm gonna show you guys in its true form because I'm not perfect and I never say that I am, but I feel like even though I love being organized at times, there are times when I let myself go a little, you know? I try to strive for perfection and I'm not really that great at it. So I wanna show you guys truly what it looks like, where my wax collection setup is. And if you're new here, you can see how I put my wax melts in and how I display it and everything, but I will warn you now, it is very dusty. All right, okay, do not judge, but this is where I carry all of my wax melts. Honestly, it's a really good place to store them because when it comes to wax melts, you wanna store them out from the sunlight. Kind of like your perfumes and your body care, the sun will ruin the fragrance and things like that. It'll make it turn. As you guys can see, uh, yeah, not my proudest moment. So it's a little dusty over here. It's actually where my roommate has their office area. So that's why I don't really go here as much because it's like already taken place and I wanna disturb them. Anyways, this is all the fall fragrances that I had in my project use it up. It's there, okay? And it's very dusty. I do need to organize it. There's some random cords here, that's okay. And there's, this was in the other bathroom, but the light broke, so I gotta get a new one for that, and it's stained. <laughs> Sometimes when you leave it on for too long, you don't change it or you don't clean it, it will turn into this. We also have our alarm thing, yeah. This is a rental house and things are always like that. I know it's not the safest. So don't do what I do or what my roommates and I do. But other than the dust, we have the usual. These have not been organized in a very, very long time. Oh my gosh. But I would normally sort them by scents. But I'm thinking from now on, since I do want to decrease my size, I do give a lot of wax melts away to my sister. She likes like the musky fragrances. I have like these huge ones right here. It's a 12 pack. Yeah. So for my goal in the next three months, I want to downsize it by at least three cubes. The main, main goal is to have it by two cubes and then just start buying more whenever I do that. But there's six full containers filled with wax right now. It's a little bit overwhelming. I do want to show you guys what I have downstairs too. And a lot of you guys ask me how many wax melt warmers I have around the house. I have three in my room, but normally I only have around like two on but sometimes I forget to turn them on. So they're on at least like either once or two times a week. I have one in the bathroom and I also have one in my sister's room. There is one in the kitchen and three in the living room area. Four, one, two, three, four. I'll show you guys in a second. And there is one in the half bath downstairs. So just doing the math, one, two, there's around 10 warmers in my house, but not all of them are on consistently. I actually recently broke two of them by dropping them. Yeah, they were from Walmart. They were only 10 bucks. So that's what it looks like upstairs. Let me show you guys what it looks like downstairs. And also since I'm here, I recently filmed a vlog and one of you guys noticed my flare up faces and it's from like environmental things, but I recently used the sunscreen. It's like the super goop play all day one. My boyfriend got me like this huge like tub of it and it burned my face. 
so I'm not using that anymore. If you have sensitive skin like me, and then you go outside and you go on a run with that sunscreen on, it will ruin your face. I will tell you that, so there's no makeup on during this segment, that's okay. Okay, so there's two there, there's two there. Sometimes they're on, sometimes they're not. Yeah, this is, yep. I do have a couple of wax melts down here. Actually, I don't, I think I just recently showed you guys them all. Yeah, not my greatest moment. There's, yeah, everything. But normally I have some wax melts here, so yay. Honestly, I'm not sure why I went downstairs just to expose myself how messy the living room area is. But it's like true and honest real life. Normally there will be like one or two trays, so I don't have to go back and forth upstairs and downstairs for the fragrance. That's how my system has been working and I really need to go through a lot more black smells because at the rate that I'm going now, there's like barely any progress in my honest opinion. So back to you, past Catherine. De -de -de -de. Anyways, that was it. A little like update on my wax home fragrance journey. I hope you guys enjoy this video a lot. I will try to do more wax videos. I don't know about wax project use it ups because either way I'm going to try my best to finish up all those <laughs> fragrances up there. I think I will do like more like wax melt and candle empties. But if you guys really want me to do project use it up for wax melts, let me know down below. It is really hard to push myself to use a lot of wax melts though. Because I have been trying to make sure that the wax diffuses all the way before I remove it in my like warmer. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being patient with me with the wax videos. You guys are really sweet and I couldn't ask for more. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.